lot of other countries, uh, I think 30-some different countries in the world grow industrial hemp. Uh, but we're the primary market for almost every country in the world. The United States, we're the market. And so what an opportunity we're giving away, we're throwing away by not being a part of this industry. And think of how rapidly it could grow if we actually started producing this stuff here and developed some of those value-added businesses that go along with it that will take that, that uh, uh, fiber and turn it into composites, that will take that fiber and turn it into high-quality clothing, uh, into papers, into ropes, into what have you, that will take those oil seeds and turn it into some of those really high-end cosmetics that, uh, uh, that the industry is so looking for, where you've got enormous potential profit. Uh, so th all of that happens as a system. I mean, just for us to grow it isn't enough. You have to build that infrastructure. And that infrastructure uh, is going to take time to do, and you've got to have all parts of it going. And so, I, I mean, we really ought to be in this business. As an independent company, I'm proud to say that our sales uh, are in the range of $100 million. Our hemp plus granola is a significant part of our business. I think uh, if Americans ate more hemp, it would help correct the imbalance of essential fatty acids in their diet. I think we'd see a reduction of uh, inflammatory diseases. I think this would be a benefit at lowering heart attack risk, cancer risks. I think it can also uh, do a lot for mental emotional health because the omega-3s are really necessary for proper brain function. With the profitability of grown industrial hemp, we may be netting two to 250 per acre of uh, actual profit where if we're looking at other crops we wouldn't be looking at that profit. The number of vehicles domestically in the United States that have natural fiber components in them is approximately 2.2 million since we launched operations in October 99. Our projections with contracted business that we have going forward that we will be in approximately five million vehicles by the end of the year 2006.